Welcome to Bamford Rose and another question of the week. This week it's door modules and why are they so expensive to replace and repair? As any of you will know if you've had to replace the door modules on a V8 or a DB9. So the door module itself, as we can see on this car here, controls everything from window drop when you open the door handle to mirror functionality and locking. So what tends to happen is someone will come in for service and just say uh, hey I've noticed when I open the door the window is just catching the top rail can you adjust it and this is where the surprise comes from uh, and how much that problem costs to fix because it seems so nondescript so as we can see here as soon as you open the door handle the window drops to clear that rail and when you close the door the window goes back up again so it's it's quite typical that the door module fails and it stops the window from dropping and obviously the window then hits the rail so the door modules were superseded from about 2010 model year onwards and those cars tend not to go wrong those door modules tend not to go wrong and the older cars when the door modules fail uh, need to be replaced as a pair because the new superseded part won't work with the older part. So this is why, in answer to the question, it's so expensive. It's because if there's a door module failure on one side, uh, you have to supply and fit for both. Each door module is about £250. Then you've got uh, an Aerosol's labour each side to fit it, uh, then plus the VAT and as simple as it sounds problem as my window is hitting the rail costs about a thousand pounds to fix. If your door module is failing and you notice that the car isn't locking, the window isn't working or the mirror isn't working, there's a couple of things you can try at home before you need to take the car into a workshop. You can disconnect the modules from the harness, this resets them, but you've got to take the door card off to do that, it's a little bit fiddly. Uh, the other way to reset the modules is to disconnect the fuse in the passenger compartment in the floor pan. It's fuse 86, 87, take those out, that will reset the module, put it back in and it might all work again. The next step going on from that would be bring the car into a workshop and with a laptop reflash of each door module it might spring them back into life. and. If everything works fine after that reflash, great. You might get a period of time out of it, you might get another year out of it before you have to replace them. But soon enough, those old level door modules are gonna completely pack in. And if you reflash it and there's some spurious behavior after the reflash, then that's the telltale sign that you need to replace the modules. And unfortunately, it costs so much because you have to replace the pair.